what is up people of youtube so today once again i bring you something different so you know i always post random different things um today that thing is gonna be a generator so specifically in case you're interested to know this is a old surumi ac generator model tpg 5000 h dx and it is made by tsurumi it's made in japan and of course it has a honda motor 11 horse gx340 so long story kind of short um a couple months ago, I started flipping things like lawnmowers, generators, pressure washers. It was probably actually like a year ago, honestly. Anyway, I started off with pressure washers and lawnmowers. Pressure washers, I didn't really do too much because they're just complicated. Um, lawnmowers, I flipped a bunch of those. Still have uh, one or two here laying around. Um, but generators is what I've been doing a lot of lately. So I actually just fixed one earlier today um, that I bought today. So that one's already, it's totally good to go. It's gonna make me some money. This one I got probably like two weeks ago. Um, I got it for $120, I believe. No, like $140. Um, the lady posted it for like 100 I ended up, you know, so I don't bore you. I ended up offering her more money, so I paid 140 for it. Drove two hours away for it. And, you know, I didn't really know too much about it. I just kind of went off, like, trusting them. Uh, so they just said, like, it was in their garage. Hasn't been started in many, many years. And it doesn't work. So, you know, that's usually the perfect story you want to hear when you're doing this type of job. You want it to just be a carburetor fuel issue or a spark plug or something like that but nine times out of ten is just a carburetor issue so luckily this one was um i just grabbed it brought it home i didn't even do anything when i was over there i just made sure like everything was there once i got home i put a new fuel filter on it put some clean gas in it because it was basically bone dry um i made sure my fuel valve was on and it was definitely full of fuel on the fuel filter there that I added and then I put some carb cleaner in it and it started right up with like two to three pulls. I did that like two times, it worked perfect. So, you know, that let me know it works. Or And also that it is a fuel issue because when I put the fuel in it and I could see it in the filter um it would not start anymore so anyway i said a lot in there but point is now it's gonna get fixed we're gonna flip it it's a pretty big boy so and hurricane season's coming up so you know somebody's really gonna need this and they're gonna get some good use out of it because i don't think this has been used that much at all it's just old and got some rust on it and stuff the tires were flat they still hold air um so just a quick walkthrough of what i did so far since i just decided to record um first of all on this generator this has a bunch of stuff on it it's got like this uh solenoid um or this uh it's like a vacuum um switch or something there there's solenoid down here. There's like a bunch of things to the carburetor compared to like smaller ones that I usually fix. And so I don't want to mess with all this stuff. I don't even want to have to worry about these gaskets because I'm pretty sure they've been there for so long and I'm pretty sure they're stuck on both sides. So as soon as you start taking that off, you're gonna rip gaskets, you're gonna have to replace that. If you just send it and put it back on, it's gonna leak, it's not gonna run right and you're gonna have to redo the whole thing. I don't like messing with these carburetors with these big filters because they just have too many parts. So, the point of this video really is um, that I'm going to kind of do it the easy way. 
it takes it could be a little bit hard also but it beats doing all this stuff so what i did first is i took off some phillip head screws that fit on here from the bottom so this thing can get kind of in the way so you might need a kind of shortish phillips head um i did it with one that went past this but i just had to like really finesse it so um i got that out this thing does seem to work it presses in comes back um once that was out this screw the solenoid goes in there so this screw is next it's a 14 mil um take that one out and this has also it's part of the car uh, carburetor jet system so it does have some holes in there that you're going to want to clean up so once you take that out from the middle here um you're basically good to take this off it's going to be pretty stuck on there i also marked you can see my scratch marks right there to line it up perfectly but basically uh, i tapped it right here because it was protruding so i just hit it with my uh my little wrench and it came off and it is disgusting so that's gonna get cleaned up um next after that is you're gonna want to take the jets out so what i use for that is i have this little kit from that i got on amazon it's uh for like laptops and stuff like that it has a bunch of different um like bits i actually got it for my glasses to, to tension the, the arms on the glasses so anyway this is the biggest flathead that's in the kit it kind of almost doesn't work but it does so if something's really if one of your jets is really tight on there you're gonna want to get a slightly wider one than this this is just what i use and it so far it's worked it hasn't stripped one but you know if you strip one of those you're kind of screwed no pun intended so so this thing fit in there nicely um took a little finesse because i was kind of hitting this a little bit to get my hand in there and get enough torque and not strip it because you want to do it straight once you lean it too much you're going to strip it so be careful um do this at your own risk i'm not at fault for anything that you do by watching this video so anyway took that off so here's what that looks like hold on here's what that looks like Wait, wait, wait. Completely clogged. Looks like honey. Looks kind of like oil. I hope it's not oil because then we have a different issue. Um, so that is out. I already know it's definitely a carburetor issue just from that. But that means the other one's also going to be uh, pretty clogged up. So anyway, the point of this video is to get your carburetor cleaned on your generator um, without having to take your gener your um, your carburetor off. If it's not that much of a hassle, just take it off. That's what I did on the other one I, I, uh, I cleaned today. It wasn't that bad at all. I'm used to it at this point anyway. But these, they're just a different monster. So anyway... Um, even just to take this thing off, this this thing, sorry, this thing off. This is what it looks like when it's on. It faces this way and it, it goes in front of it. And it has, you can see all these holes here. It has six screws or six uh, nuts. And you can see those right there. Those are eight mil. So you take those off. You can see the little studs still on there. So you take those off and that allows you to get that whole cover off you do want to do that so everything back here is good okay now once you're here and on this carburetor in particular like i said it's kind of complicated so even if you put your choke when you put it on it's supposed to look like this it's supposed to be choked so this butterfly valve here it's supposed to be closed when you take off your choke all the way over there it's supposed to open it doesn't open so that's because it has this thing here. It's like electronically 
controlled or something, I don't know. But you could just push it like that. And it'll open it. The reason I'm telling you this is because all the way in there, might not be able to really see it. I'm trying to. Oh, okay, you can see it. You can see it. Like, you just get it to focus. Anyway, point is that back there, you could barely, barely make it out, but, um, the other jet I'm talking about is all the way back there. You can kind of see it shining in the middle of the screen there. You'll see it. It's in the middle of the carburetor. So you just open that butterfly valve open. And then what you do is, um, you take a set of small pliers or even like a really thin screwdriver or anything similar to that and then you're basically going to just want to push that down i'm trying to find them now because i already lost them so how do i lose these already okay Oops, sorry about that so here they are these are what i'm using here they're like little fishing pliers like forceps whatever you want to call them but they're really thin and somewhat long and your carburetor goes from about here to about there so it's going to be in the middle right about here of course it's going to be right here so that's a better point of reference so it's uh, that little one first, the other one's in there. Normally when you have the carburetor off, you could just tap it out. That never really works for me, so I always do it this way anyway. The point is that what you're gonna do is, like I said, you're gonna open this up, you're gonna push that down. All right, so that just took me a second there. So what I did is I did get it out. I basically pushed it with the little pliers, like I said, with these, they're angled down, so you can push them with anything straight too, but they're angled down, so it helps a little bit. I basically just wedge them in there and just do this, and it pushes it down. And it was very, very stuck, the worst one I've done so far. So I managed to push it, but it didn't just pop out like I usually um, experience. This one just kind of like, again, it's like honey, so it kind of just pushed and got stuck there. So what I did is I sprayed it with carburetor cleaner from the top and from the bottom um, to see if I could clean some of that sludge out, make it a little cleaner so it should slide down. That was my theory. Didn't work. Obviously I couldn't push further down. So what I did is I actually just took the screwdriver I used earlier and I pushed the jet back up and I figured, okay, I'll just push it back up, spray more carburetor cleaner, and then push it back down. So as soon as I pushed it up, it got stuck, and then it fell down on its own before I got to push it down. So it worked out. Carburetor cleaner, just push it up and down until it stops if yours is worse. I mean, until it drops. If yours is worse than that, you might have to just keep spraying and pushing it up and down. Um, and maybe uh, tapping it a little bit, but that's how it worked for me came out I did get dirt all over it so that sucks but you can see that this is actually not bad at all these are usually really bad pretty clear to see through that this hole in the middle too I did already kind of clean this actually by accident because I was trying to pull it down earlier with a wire thing so I kept shoving that through the middle and like trying to pull it out but that wasn't really working so anyway that is fairly clean um, basically when the bowl was kind of it wasn't full full of fuel I think it was just like at a certain level just the bottom of it had a lot of fuel and when that became sludge over the years it was only enough to reach that jet which is on the bottom 
and I think that's why I clogged that one and this one kind of didn't really get clogged I think only the bottom of this one was in the beginning or maybe the carpet cleaner I sprayed through it a bunch of times just cleaned it but this one uh, I'm still gonna clean it with the wires because I do have these wires and then I have another little set of them just clean all those holes up because you don't want to have to redo this job and then put everything back together basically um, I'm also gonna spray some in here and the actual carburetor itself I have the bowl over there um, so the bowl I'm gonna kind of wipe down also with, a, with like a napkin or something um, and then I should be able to put everything back together and this should be running today okay so I'm gonna make this quick these mosquitoes are trying to kill me right now um, but I just finished it I just changed the oil there's a little oil stain there um, oh shit damn these mosquitoes are they don't care these Florida mosquitoes they like they don't bite they like chew so anyway I'm gonna do the first start I haven't tried to start it yet um, there's definitely fuel in there so that's good fuel is on i left it on while i changed the oil uh there's not a whole lot of fuel in the tank i don't think but should be plenty for this choke is pulled out so that's on everything else is already put on together now for this one in particular you have all your switches there so i do have the uh the idle on i will take it off uh, once it starts if it does start that way you could idle a little higher the run the running position is on this doesn't have the little red switch it just has one up here and that's basically it so hopefully all these stupid switches and solenoids and whatnot in here all work you know i'm asking for a lot with that one but hopefully let's uh let's go for it I'm just doing one quick little pull just to get that oil in there but now i'm gonna go ahead and uh Shit. Holy shit. I thought it was about to die out on me. But I pressed the choking because I remembered. Oh shit, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, I thought I was going to die out on me again. Oof, I had to take a step back. Literally. But anyway. It almost died out on me and put the choke in, but I remembered this thing here always keeps the choke on. So you got to press it. I guess kind of quick, I don't know. I think it idled down. Because it was idling pretty low to begin with, but I think it just idled down lower, you know, after it got a little warm. Because I have the idle on. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn this idle off. And it should just shoot up uh, to the max RPM. So everything else is on there. I got all the fuses off. Uh, I'm assuming this pilot should be on. Hopefully that I don't know what that is, but hopefully it, it produces power. I'm gonna plug plug it something in while I'm at it. But let's see. Oh, there it goes. Oh shit! I heard something metal kind of grinding in the in there. I think something might have gotten in there. Maybe some crash. Okay, so you can't really hear me over there, but uh, I heard a little metal sound. I think maybe something had got in the actual generator part of it. But it stopped right away. It was just a quick little sound, but it's running perfectly. I took the idle off, the little red light is on. I'm gonna go ahead and plug something on. Um, if it works, this will be the last uh, part of the video here. I'm not gonna plug something up and show you guys if it works. Um, that'll be it if it doesn't work then i'll make another part of the video or a different video and then i'll show you guys how to potentially get that power back but with that light being on i'm pretty certain that it is going to work so uh thank you guys for watching just like subscribe um and just wait for some more content you know i always post randomly and uh random content but let me know if you guys have any suggestions i do have a small 12 foot jumbo i 
do have a 4x4 4Runner. I do like to work on small engines. And I do like to make money on the side. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. And thank you guys for watching.